Hola, buenos dias from day five. Been out walking solo in silence for the last hour and a half and it's been wonderful. Just listening to nature, saying my gratitudes, my intentions, my prayers, soaking up the silence. It's a good way to start the day. <laughs> no opening shot, that's all right. I uh, woke up at 4.30 this morning because there was a loud sound and then the room was full of snoring and there was no oxygen in the room. It was really stuffy, so I just decided to get up and uh, start my day earlier. I got to see the sun come up, walking, and right now I'm doing some road walking, but it's pretty easy, quiet, and I just feel like it's gonna be a really good day. I think it's 23 kilometers, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I was able to reserve a bed um, in our limited resources here on the Camino del Norte and the bed race going on. So yeah, just a really wonderful way to start today. I hope you're having a beautiful morning yourself. Time for some breakfast. Bye Camino. Salut! Fresh squeeze, my favorite. It's Sunday. So Sunday in Spain means just about everything is closed. That's why I'm still carrying my own backpack right now. Baggage transportation was not operating today. I did find this tiny little cafe open, which is a miracle. More Camino magic because if I, you find a little cafe open on a Sunday morning, you take it. And I just ordered a bunch of food. I'm so hungry already <laughs> and grateful to find this place. Look at that. Grateful for the little things like being able to fill my belly with food, delicious food, dry walking weather. So far, not too difficult. It's so important to stay in a state of gratitude. One thing I believe the Camino will teach every pilgrim is to become more patient or point out to you when you're not. <laughs> Last night I watched the group I started off with yesterday morning on that long 34 kilometer day. They finally got in to the albergue 10 hours later and they all were tired and sore and they said it was a really hard day, especially the last part. And yet I watched them be so graceful and patient and kind to all the other pilgrims waiting to check in, waiting to use the toilet or use the shower and just uh, being so kind and patient and graceful despite how utterly tired and exhausted they were, sunburned. And uh, I was witnessing this and it was making my heart smile. And I thought, you know, these are the things that I see that make me want to become a better person. But this is great during the fall with all the wild berries. I would be picking them and eating them as I walked. Hola. Hola, buen camino. Hola, camino. Hola. Hola. A little taste of pilgrim life. That's what it looks like when you check in. I actually was the first one to check in. Get your bed, bottom, get a little hand washing of laundry. Now I'm gonna get some snacks and take a shower. All in all, it was a pretty easy day. And glad to get here injury free as always. <laughs> gonna work on the feet and legs right now and maybe take a nap. I went down to the coastline to check it out. Looks beautiful, really windy, windy town. And just take an easy day, catch up on things, and relax. Tomorrow is a new day. Buen Camino.